You said, Lord, where is unity? You command a blessing. But you said, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, pray, seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, I will hear from heaven, forgive their sins, and heal their land. Father, we ask, just heal our land, winter, Father. Heal our surroundings, Father. Can we please have everyone say, enough is enough? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. enough, is enough. enough, is enough. enough Although shootings and stuff for women as mothers, we were told about under these doors. Till now, provincial comes in for one week. They drive there, yes. parade, wasting petrol. Yes. Yes. No lockups. Colonel, I'd like to ask you a question. My son was murdered on the 29th of October 2018. Detective Archery has now resigned or retrenched or whatever it is. Detective Mshlongo, the docket is empty. The post mortem from 2018 is still not collected. My docket is blank in your station. What are you doing for my son? It's now three, almost three years later. Not an arrest has been made. My uncle was murdered last week, Saturday. The incident report is circling around me. The witness is afraid to come forward. It was leaked by your station. If we don't stand up in Wentworth, as they say, there's going to be a shortage of light around here. There's going to be a shortage of Wentworth. Go to the graveyard. Go to the graveyard and you see. I'm living here 53 years. I am living here in Wentworth for 53 years. And I had enough. It's enough of all this killing in our community. I am tired. I had enough of my child in prison. Why? Drugs. My child in prison. The police come. When they come, they only come for domestic things. But when the people are dying, they're not there. I told it that the, the CID, go and pick up so and so. You never do it. Why? Because you got paid. Yeah. I need closure. That's my child. My child, what are you doing? Your cops are useless. You're not useless. That's my child. Uh, I'm Celeste King, the founder of Etegwini Youth uh, in Business. Uh, we created this movement. It's called My Voice Movement because as the youth, we are tired of our brothers dying. We are tired of our fathers dying. We are tired of our neighbors uh, mourning for their children. So we created this platform for our community to take a stand. We saying enough is enough. Yes. Enough is enough. Yes. Parents, learn to go on our knees now and we need God in our community. Yes. Pastor Paul. We need God to arise. Amen. Because we understand that the youth that are doing this, it's not them. It's a demon in them. So it's a spirit that's in them. So we need mothers to come out and be and go in a spiritual warfare. Because this is a battle that is fighting. But this battle don't belong to us. This battle belongs to the Lord. The victory belongs to Him. We have won this battle. Amen. We have won this battle. So we need to unite. Let us stop bickering. Let us stop having enviness with each other for correcting one another. All right? Change is coming. Change is here already in Wentworth. So we say, Amanda to Wentworth. Amanda. I want to say to you that my heart bleeds as I'm standing here. 
And if I choke and I get emotional, forgive me for that. Because I know, no, I don't know. I don't know. I can feel your pain though. And it's affecting me as well. I want to assure you, firstly I want to tell you the station is under-resourced. That's a fact. It's a fact. Okay. But I haven't kept quiet about it. I have escalated it to my superiors, my principals, my employer. But I'm struggling there. I'm trying to do my best. I come out in the streets every single day. I close the doors. I take all my office stuff. And we come out into the streets. And we walk. People have already acknowledged that. And they've said to me, thank you for what you're doing. The day before yesterday, we were on the streets. And a person pulled us over, an Uber driver, telling us, I've just been robbed by three people. We followed him. He said he can't show us this person. You saw that? We went for this person. We arrested him. He said, I'm sorry that I took this fire, uh, the, the sulfur. I'll take you to where it is. He took us to another one. I arrested that one. He said, no, my other friend has got it, the third one. We drove around looking for it. Couldn't find it. He was shouting from the police vehicle to his friends in the area where we went, saying, please bring this, fire, uh, this cell phone to the police station, because he begged me not to charge them. And uh, he said he's got a five-year prison sentence hanging over his head if he gets charged on this case. We charged him. We charged him. He can go and serve that five years. The third person came to the station and handed over the phone. We arrested him. They all three appeared in court. I want to come back to the shooting of last week, Saturday. It's horrifying. I tell you, my stomach turns when I get those calls. We worked Sunday. Monday morning, I went to the detectives. A lot of you don't have faith in him. Right, I acknowledge that. I told them, in their boardroom there where they have the parade, I said, one of you stay behind, do the paperwork. All of you, get in the cars and go and fetch those suspects. You don't come back until they are arrested. An hour and a half later, both arrested. This initiative was initiated by Etequini South Youth in Business NPO, dated the 19th of the 6th, 2021, supported by the community of Wentworth, Osterville, within the southern area of Durban, Ward 68, advocating and lobbying for the socio-economic upliftment of youth within Etequini. The challenges we are facing are the continuous drug-related issues that have been plaguing the community with, of Wentworth for years. The age group of drug abuse, ab ab abusers have been getting lower and lower. This community has witnessed very little change to our circumstances surrounding this issue. The drugs have taken over the community which have produced some of the most talented artists, lawyers, sportsmen, sportswomen and artisans. Rapid loss of life has become the new normal in our everyday lives. Sending condolences to families of innocent members of the community caught between crossfire of one-to-be gangsters, drug dealers peddling guns through the use of minors who are also shielded by parents, all while acknowledging their drug-related activities. So our demands to the station commander are one, increased visible policing in drug-related activity hotspots. Two, increased successful arrests, charging and prosecution of known drug dealers and corrupt officers. Yes. Three, increase in random combined drug combating com campaigns with the use of surrounding community police stations, resources and offices. Internal investigations or on corrupt officers within the police within the police station. Implementing of a safe communication set up between the Wentworth residents and Wentworth police officers for reporting the witness law-breaking activities which are drug, murder and corruption related. Random stops and searches of suspicious individuals on foot and in vehicle transit. Treat, 
treat every reported case with the best efforts possible by an officer of the law. The request for Becky Fele and Provincial Task Force to respond to our call of action with a reply. There are mentioned demands required a reply within 14 days of handover so as to ensure the community of what happens next. Thank you. Mm -hmm.